Hello, my name is Kevin Zollinger. I'm with the Modern Work and Security Practice at Journey Team. Today, I want to talk to you about Copilot. You don't live under a rock until you've heard about Copilot. You want Copilot. In fact, you probably need Copilot. We're going to talk about why that is true just for a little bit and then talk about a few of the things that you should do to get ready for Copilot. So these are the people that Microsoft believes can benefit from having Copilot, all the way from customer service through security, knowledge workers, which I think includes most of us, each of those people have what turns out is their own co-pilot. Whether you're a developer in Power Platform or GitHub, or you're doing sales in co-pilot, there's a co-pilot for all of us. We want to talk about the most general purpose co-pilot of them all, which is co-pilot for Microsoft 365. That is something that most of us are going to use and most of us are going to benefit from. So in Microsoft 365, co-pilot comes in all of these applications whether it's something that you need help drawing in whiteboard or it's an Excel formula that you just can't figure out even after hours and hours of research, Copilot is in all of these applications and will make your life better. Let's get some use cases of how that might be the case. We've all had the situation happen where we're just innocently going about our day and all of a sudden we get an email. And it turns out this is an email thread that's been going on for days and you're asked for your opinion. Holy cow. It's going to be a lunch break to get down to the bottom and then back to the top. You're going to have to eat twice. Don't do that. Instead, ask Copilot, summarize what's been going on, give me the key points, and a few minutes later, you now have an understanding of what that thread is about, and so you can answer intelligently. You can do the same thing by turning a Word document into a PowerPoint, which is to say, you can save lots and lots of time and have Copilot do the heavy lifting. When you're done, you'll have a complete deck with speaker notes, formatted text, and even images the Copilot went out and found for you and put in, and they're going to be appropriate images to the point that you're making on that particular slide. The next one, the meeting recap, that's one that is near and dear to my heart. As you get to the end of your meetings, Copilot's going to come and say, hey, you're coming up to the end of your meeting. Do you want to recap? If you say yes, it's going to tell you who said what, what was decided, and here to me is the gold. It'll tell you what the to-do items are so that you can make sure that you know who is doing what as you leave the meeting. Will it make your lunch? Yeah, no, not so much. Before Microsoft started rolling Copilot out in their public preview, they asked business leaders for their biggest concerns. Those are there on the left of the screen in the gray text. In the blue text on the right is what those users of Copilot in those same organizations said after they were done and spent some time with it. 68% had improved the quality of their work. 70% made us more productive. 77%, four out of five, said, you know what, I'm not giving it back. You can't have it. In some cases, people said, you want to take that back, we're going to get physically violent because you cannot have my co-pilot back. It has changed my life and I'm not giving it up. That's what you want for you and your organization. So to do that, Microsoft has a three-phase program. I'm going to turn it on its head in just a minute, but first let's talk about table stakes. What do you have to do before you even start? First, information architecture is key. Your information needs to be logically arrayed so that Copilot knows what is authoritative and what is not. Not always the case that that is set up that way. Let's do the work to get your information in the right place before we use Copilot so that it can know where to go to get your answers. The second two are closely associated. That's security and sharing. In both cases, Copilot doesn't change anything. It's not going to give you access to something you didn't have access to before, but there's a chance that it is going to expose caps places where you didn't get security or your sharing hygiene just right, you don't want that to happen. So let's review your security and let's review your sharing hygiene before you turn on Copilot. But let's say we've gotten that right. Our table stakes are in place. We're ready to turn it off. I'm going to say start on phase three. Figure out how you're going to know when you've won. At Journey Team, we call that a flag plant, a two or three line sentence description of how we know that we're at the end of our journey. What have we accomplished? Get your flag plant set. Know what that is. Know how you're going to measure it and share that with the company. So you know what a win looks like. The second thing is, let's help our people get there. We have an adoption and change management practice that can help you with this as well. But let's get the training in place. Let's get the measurement in place. Let's get the measurement, the, the messaging in place. Let's make sure that our users know what they need to do to get the most value out of Copilot. Adoption and change management is crucial and key. So now we've got our measurement in place, we have our adoption in place, now we can start to roll it out. Microsoft says, and I totally agree, 
that you concentrate your licenses in a few key teams. Figure out what your best, maybe most measurable use cases are and start there with just those individuals. Don't buy Copilot for everybody, just for those groups. Measure their wins, communicate their wins, and then turn that team into your champions. Have them share with the rest of the company the things that they did to become successful with Copilot. So those are the three things that Microsoft says you need to do. I would propose you don't do them until you get your table stakes in order, but that's how you get your value out of Copilot. Now, I know that you're gonna have questions. We're here for you. Reach out to us, find us on social media, give us a call, send us an email. We're happy to talk to you about any aspect of getting going with Copilot, whether it's your sharing hygiene, whether it's adoption and change management, whether it's how you measure your win, or even supporting your core teams as you start to roll it out. Copilot is exciting. It is perhaps the biggest fundamental change that we've seen come into the world of work in the last 10 years. It's more important that you get it right than you get it first, but don't delay longer than you need to. Thanks for your time and have a great day.